morning everyone. And in today's English language class, we'll be speaking French of verb and idiom. Just like the previous class we had before we went home, we had some little, little, I had some little explanations about what French of verb or what idioms are. But today I want to give you an expansive explanation on what they have and the differences between the two topics. They are sometimes used, used interchangeably. In fact, they are used alike to kind of hide the meaning of words for laymen to give extra meaning to words. Their meanings are not deducible on the literal topic, on the literal way we speak them. They have other meanings other than the way they look. Now, what is a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is a group of words. The way I will give it to you is for you to be able to identify it when you see them and also to be able to deduce what they mean. Now, in my own little explanation, a phrase verb is a combination or a group of words, a combination of a preposition and a verb or a verb and an adverb. Now, a phrase verb most of the time makes use of both the verb and the preposition. Most of the time, the verb will come before the preposition. Now, let me put this here. The phrase of verb, a combination of a verb and a preposition. Was prevented at 
the occasion. Matthew Day was presented at the occasion. Now, you have words and presented. Word is one verb, presented is another verb. So that makes it a verb phrase. Now, here we have three verbs, here we have two. In as much as it is more than one, then it is a verb phrase. It is not a phrasal verb. So please don't misconstrue a phrasal verb for a verb phrase. Now, going back to the phrasal verb. Phrasal verbs are combination, like I said the other time, are combinations of a verb and a preposition or an adverb. That is why I put it in a bracket. But I have many others. Because, but their meanings are more than what they seem. Their meanings are not literally distinguishable. That means you cannot get the meaning, you cannot just say this is what they mean because of the way they look. They kind of give us extra meaning based on the way they are used in a sentence. Now, what is an idiom? A printed verb is also more or less like an idiom. Now, an idiom is a word, is a group of expressions, group of words or expressions. Okay, idiom. An idiom is a group of words or expressions. Whose meaning is not deducible on the literal appearance of the word. Now, an idiom is a group of words or expressions whose meaning is not visible on the literal appearance of the word. That means they are expressions made Jesus by people in speeches or in writing to portray their point or to make um, their communication more understandable to the listener. The listener most of the time is a person that will understand the idiom being used in an expression. Where do we get this idiom from? How do they originate? Now, idiom, now, a history of idiom. Idiom comes from different aspects in our society. Idiom comes from our societal norms. We are our forefathers. Based on the things they have lined up in the society, the things they have been doing, the activities of those days, as time goes on, as they keep doing it, they tend to make use of some aspects of those activities and it becomes an expression that are used in various discussions. So we get them from societal norms, some are allusions from the Bible. These are otherwise called biblical allusions. So we get idioms also from the Bible. That means situations that occur from the Bible stories we have learned and that are uh, gathered or they are seen as important are usually used as idioms. They, they tend, at the end of the day, they tend to make them out as idioms. So, for example, like uh, in literature, we have, he had Peter's house. Now, when you say someone had Peter's house, e.g., by the way, he had Peter's house. This Peter's house, he had Peter's house, means someone who went out to look for something gainful but was unable to get it. Because in the Bible, Peter was Oh, Peter, sorry, he, one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, that went onto the sea to get fish and could not get the fish until Jesus Christ came over and told him to throw his net at a particular point before he could gather the fishes in the net. So when you say someone has Peter, that means he did not get what he needed. So he lost out. So this one, 
we get idiom from the Bible, then we get idiom from occasion of import in the society. What I mean by this is that most of the time, situations that occur, like um, that are that are known, that seem to be funny, or that was done by some people, tends to turn out to be used as expression. You mostly hear people say, um, "Why is he behaving like foolish?" 